why do you think the figure of Christ is central both to the Muslim faith and the Christian faith? And what do you think that says about what we share in common? Because I really don't understand that. It's a mystery to me. Okay, uh, so Jesus Christ, if secular historians will look at him and differ on his existence or not. The majority, to be fair, do believe he existed. Right? The even secular historians, atheists and agnostics and whatever it may be, right? It's the simplest explanation. Yeah, it's the simplest, of course, yeah? So I believe that, first of all, Jesus Christ existed, which in the modern age is worth noting, right? Mm -hmm. Muslims actually, be Muslims are the only other major world religion who believe in uh, Jesus Christ as the Messiah, as the prophet. Right, he, he had the right. Virgin and this birth. is a strange thing, yeah, so we yeah, should definitely yeah, be yeah. trying to sort that out. All right, so this is the first point of commonality. We believe in Jesus Christ, we believe in his miracles, mm -hmm. that he, he cured the blind with God's permission, that he raised the dead with God's permission. We believe that he even, you know, uh, he, he created a, some things which in the Gospel of Thomas, not mentioned in the Bible, like, you know, the, but uh, for example, the, the clay bird and so on, that he blew into it and it became an actual bird, uh, that he cured the leper with God's permission. We believe that he was one of the mightiest human beings that have ever lived on the earth. And we believe that his mother was the best woman who ever lived on the earth. The Quran actually explicitly says that. Well, that seems like a good starting point. Right. And so that is the first thing we believe. When we look at the Quranic verses relating to Jesus Christ, we don't look at those metaphorically. No orthodox Muslim normatively looks at those uh, in an etiological way. It's not etiology for us. It's, it's, it's history. So we believe that this is actually historical. That's the first thing. And the reason why I mention that to you is because I, I listen to all of your biblical series. I think a lot of Muslims have, and you yes. know that right here. A lot of people like it. And because obviously... Yeah, strangely uh, enough. And no, and it's not very strange if you know the Quran, because the Quran actually tells us to go to the people of the book and to, to listen to them and to, you know. And you'll find an exegesis, like for example, Tafsir ibn Kathir, like one of the staple exegesis of the Quran. They use uh, biblical verses all the time. Let's go to the people of the book. Let's see what information they have. Tabari mentions uh, what you call Israeliyat, which is basically passages from the Bible, passages from the uh, Torah and so on like that, from the biblical tradition and from the Torah. So it's not really, it's not, it's not abnormal for Muslim people to be interested in Christian explanations. That's been going on for 1,300 years, yeah? 